I'm here with uh, brother Sean and we're in the uh, Times Square subway station uh, this would be like the, the mezzanine of the number seven train uh, it's an old haunt for me because I used to fix the pay phones down here but you know everyone knows uh, people got pay phones in their pocket now they're called cell phones but brother Sean here is um, a preacher of the gospel you see his shirt warning people to repent and believe the gospel and trust Jesus for salvation Got, uh, he's got a table full of tracks here, ministering God's word. And uh, how long have you been coming here, Brother Sean? Yeah, so we've been coming here for almost two years now. We, we had started, uh, we used to just come on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, when really most of the people come out. And we used to just come out, and we come in like come out from 11 o'clock in the afternoon to like uh, 11 o'clock at night, and we come out and we take stuff back. So we decided that we got tired of pushing the stuff back and forth from the storage. So we said, with a new year coming, we're going to have a 24 hour ministry where we get to stay here 24 hours, seven days a week. 24 hours? That's right, because there's always souls coming through here, Lord. Amen. There's so many souls lost from different countries. As you can see, we got, uh, we got all the literature in uh, any language you want. Uh, and, um, and Portuguese, we got Portuguese right. Bibles, we got Arabic yeah. Bibles, we got all the tracks yeah. in every language. Uh, but any, any country you name, we have it up there. And so, for the reason why we started that 24 hour ministry, but we feel time is running out, and we feel that we need to let the people know that they must be born again. Oh, yeah, not time is running out. Of heaven, Amen. Uh, unless they are born again of the Spirit, right? And you got people believing, you know, so you got so many religions believe they can lose their salvation, and that's making the devil deceive them. And they say that when they commit up sin, they figure they're not born again. As you see, we got the false teaching up here that said that salvation by works is uh, a no no. Woman passes is a no no. Salvation through baptism. Baptism does not save you. No. You must be born again. Well, yeah, Speaking in tongues, lose your salvation. God is not an Indian giver. No, he's, he's not, not going to give you something no, to take it back. What you and prophecy. Change. People tell them that when they know when the end coming. I you know. will not know when the end coming. He's going to come like a thief in the night. Amen. No man should know. Not even the ready. angels up in heaven know what day he's coming. Well, Brother Sean's he's preaching. Ready, right? preaching. Praise so, God. We started 24-hour ministry. So um, well, we can be out here every day. We didn't have no work. He said the harvest of uh, uh, he said the harvest of you, but uh, uh, the, the labors of few. The harvest is ripe, but the labors are few. The labors are few. So we didn't have really good work. Pray the Lord of the harvest to send workers. It was only just me, my pastor, and his wife. We had nobody to work for free. You know, I was delivered with a new kidney. You know, after 14 years, draining my blood for four and a half hours, three times a week. And um, when I got that kidney last year, I got I got on fire for the Lord. I just Praise knew God. That He kept me alive for this reason. I mean, I, used to, I have dreams of walking down the street with my Bible, not being ashamed. And then finally, that came true. I'm, I'm actually here to deliver it to these small souls. Some of them that they need me. Some of them are Seventh Day Adventists. Some of them are Jehovah Witness. You yeah, got some of them are Muslims, and they try to attack us once in a while. But uh, but through the Lord Jesus Christ. His angels and the Lord protect us from Amen. that, and we, we just tell them the truth. We tell them that let every man, let every, uh, God be true, but every man is a liar. So, yeah. you don't have no religion. We're not a religion. It's about a personal relationship with Amen. God. Amen. Jesus Christ. Christ. There's no other just, name given unto heaven among men. Among men. There's no, no Jehovah Witness sitting out there. They come like the devil. They come to your house at the door asking you uh, to take these things and read. So, they don't have nothing like this. Muslims don't have nothing like this. Seventh-day Adventists don't have nothing like this. This is the real deal. the Catholic Church have nothing like this because they're liars. You know what I'm saying? They're they're not gonna, they're not gonna come setting up nothing like this. Only the Lord Jesus Christ has the power to set something that's true up here. And I'm thinking Isaiah 55, so now, 11. So now we know, we, we, we really didn't have no laborers. We do this for nothing. The Lord, he said, seek the heaven, seek the kingdom of heaven, and all these things will be added. So we here, I do this for nothing. I stay here four, sometimes three and four nights by myself. You know what I'm saying? I know, I said, I got eternal security. Why should I work? I'm not worried about what's on this earth. But people come by and get so mad at me. They ask me, every day I see you here. Why are you every day? I go to work in the morning, you here. I come back to here. I got to go to work and bust my butt for you take for my kids. What do you do? Once you get a job, it's a, do something with your life. That's where I know I'm doing the work of the Lord. This is your job. And I tell them, this Amen. is your job. This is my job. Christ, yes. My boss is Jesus Christ. You know? So Amen. when I tell them that, they get offended. And me being born again, I don't have no fear of man. So all I do is treat him with love. I said, I love you, brother. I didn't even get spitting on out here for the Lord Jesus Christ. No doubt. I'm locked up for the Lord Jesus Christ. 
everything that the Lord happens to the Lord, similar to happens to me, that means I'm doing my job. Amen. When they get persecuted, you're doing your job. In this world, you should have tribulation, but be a good cheer. Amen. You never see a Jehovah Witness get persecuted because they tell you there's no hell. Only one's going to get persecuted is the ones that talk about hell. Jesus talked more about hell than he did heaven because he don't want you to go there. You know like your mama telling you, don't go outside, they shoot it, you're going to get hurt or killed. Same thing with the Lord. Don't go to hell because he loves you like your mother loves you. Thank you, Lord. So this 24-hour ministry is really a great thing. There's nothing done like this in the world. Sean, I, I am, I am just so blessed. To, to meet you and, and know that this is going on right here, right here in my old working place. Hey, Times <laughs> Praise God. This is in the heart of Times Square. I, I mean, That's right. Times Square is right above us. Right here, and the ball nothing, drops just a little uh, ways away us. from us, just above us. And there's nothing done like this. There's no bigger subway system in the world than New York City. Uh, New England might, uh, 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 England might have another subway system over, overseas, 